Hey guys, Eridania here. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my September wrap up and my October TBR. Oh my god, it's almost October. I'm wearing my blanket again. I love it. It's so warm. <laughs> okay, um, before I get into my wrap up, I actually, I just went shopping today and I picked up three new books. So I kind of just want to let you know what they are because they are already in my TBR jar. So first off, I got um, Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. I kind of just saw this one and the cover looked really cool and I don't really know what it's about and I don't really want to. I just kind of want to jump right into this one. But it's... I don't know. It says, uh, Victor Benucci and Madeline Falco have a story to tell. It begins with the death of Vic's father. It ends with the murder of Mad's uncle. The Hackensack, the Hackensack Police Department would very much like to hear it, but in order to tell their story, Vic and Mad must focus on all the chapters in between. So, I don't know. It sounds pretty interesting. And I'm ready. So I got that, and then I've been wanting to broaden my library uh, to a little more than just like YA. So I ended up by getting Salem's Lot by Stephen King. So this is a horror novel. Uh, I've read one other Stephen King novel, which was Carrie, and I have. I think the only other horror novel that I have read was Anna Dressed in Blood, but that's a YA horror novel, and that's also like a paranormal romance, so this is just horror, so I wanted to really get into this. And then the last thing that I got today, which I'm actually, I'm really excited about, I've heard good things about it, and I've been kind of wanting to get into this lately, and I really want to get into this whole genre, uh, slash I want to read a lot more like period pieces, so like things that aren't really modern, like I want to read more of those. So I got Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, Gabaldon I think it is. So this is actually a TV show and I know nothing about the TV show and I don't want to know anything about the TV show until after I've read all the books. This is going to be like another Game of Thrones for me, I'm going to have to read all the books before I even like think about watching the show which Game of Thrones took me a while, so hopefully this doesn't take me as long, although they're probably like just as big. So I'm actually super excited for this. So yes, all three of those are in my jar, so maybe I'll draw one of them today. Anyways, okay, so I managed in the month of September, and I still have a few more days, but I don't think I'll finish another one at this point, but I have finished four books. Two of them you guys had no idea that I was even reading, which I'll explain that. So anyway, the first book that I managed to read in September was The Martian by Andy Weir. Loved it. So good. Expected a discussion on this. It was so beautiful. So glad I read it. Okay, so the next two books that I read kind of go together. My, uh, my best friend lent them to me because you may or may not know that the first one is being made into a movie, so that is A Dog's Purpose and A Dog's Journey. I read them both. I read this one in about a day, and I cried like five times, and then I read this one, and I only cried once at the end. So these are heartbreaking, but I, I read them both, and I love them. So thanks so much to my friend for lending me these, but I just like, tore through these. And the last book that I read in the month of September, I actually read in a day. I started reading at like 10 in the morning, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to read like one chapter, and then I finished it uh, by 1 o'clock that night. I, I was at work for like uh, five and a half hours, so that did happen. But that is... United as One by Pithecus Lore, and this is, um, the seventh and final book in the, uh, Lorian Legacies, I'm number four series, so I read it in a day, I kind of wanted to make this one last because now it's over, but I read it, I read it, and it's done, it's over, it was so good, 
Okay, so that was, I, I'm really proud of myself that I managed to read four books this month, considering that I only read, like, two last month, but they were, like, the last few Game of Thrones books, so that's kind of different. But, anyways, so I plan on reading four books, also in the month of October, hopefully I can do it. Uh, so the first one, the one that I'm reading right now, is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in his... Egyptian mythology series or trilogy, I guess. So I've read I've already read one chapter in it, but I need to finish. I love Rick's writing. I've missed it. So that's the first one. The second one that I'm going to read is um, Extras by Scott Westerfeld. So this is a fourth book slash um, continuation, I guess an epilogue book, if you will, of the Uglies series, so it was Uglies, Pretties, and Specials, so that was with the tally and everyone, but then this is extra, so this is like year, uh, like a few years after uh, Specials ended, so I don't know, I've had this one for a while and I guess I'll just read it, I'm not looking that forward to it, I was kind of, it's kind of done with that series, but like I'll read it because I don't want to leave it. The third book um, that I plan on reading, not this whole thing, like, I have my big Jane Austen collection, but uh, it is four novels in here, so I'm only reading one of them, and the one that I am reading is Emma. So I'm reading Emma by Jane Austen. I'm actually super excited for this because this is going to be uh, my first Jane Austen novel that I'm going to read, so it should be special. I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to read Emma. Uh, so this one, I, I've said before, but it has Sense and Sensibility, uh, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and Persuasion. So I'm super excited to start this, but I thought I'd break it up because if I just like went and like, th look at how small the writing is. Oh my god, I might die. Anyways, that is the third book that I plan on reading. The fourth book that I plan on reading, I actually have not drawn yet, so I'm going to do that. Ugh, okay, got, got my jar, got my jar. Okay. Let's see, the next book that I am going to be reading is... I want... This one. Mmm. This is a fantasy. I'm kind of still off fantasy. So I'm not going to read a fantasy. I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you what that was, I'm just saying it was a fantasy, and I'm not, because Game of Thrones is still with me, and I can't immerse myself into another fantasy right now. Uh, the Beasts of Tarzan by Edgar Rice Burroughs. I can't remember which one this is, if the Beasts of Tarzan is the first one or not, because I know I have all three in here, so I will be reading the first one, whichever that one is. Um, so yeah, awesome, so after, after I read Jane Austen, I get to read some Tarzan, so that's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to read Tarzan after this, I guess the first Tarzan novel, so that's going to be interesting. Awesome. I feel bad for not picking that, um, what's it called, that fantasy? But after, okay, the one that I was, it was Eldest, which is the second book of Aragon, which I love Aragon, and I haven't read any more of them, and I really want to read more of them, but I just can't, and like this, it's such a big fantasy world, like it's got the same like different kingdoms and different places, and I just can't deal with that right now. I need like a good, like September's been like a good buffer, so maybe after October I'll be down for reading another fantasy, but I gotta give myself at least like two months buffer with this one. Just so I don't get into a reading slump. I really don't want to get into a reading slump because I'm kind of on a roll right now, so. And I really want to get um, my quota, my goal, my goal for this year, which I am almost there. I just said I was gonna read like 30 something and I think I just passed like 15 or 16. I'm a little more than halfway there. So I don't want to get into that reading slump yet. Yet. Maybe maybe a little bit down once I'm done I can get into the reading slump. So 
anyways, that is my wrap up and my TBR. Next week I will be doing, I think it's The Rest of Us Just Live Here by, pa uh, by Patrick Ness. I'll be doing a book discussion on that. Um, I do have a... I'm working on a time lapse right now. It is almost done and then I just have to edit it. So that should be soon. This one actually, because I spent actually the whole day last Wednesday just painting. So that was fun. So uh, hopefully that one will be up soon. And yeah. So please comment what you thought in this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday, and I am Ardania, and thank you so much for watching. I hit myself in the face with a blanket. Okay, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>